Germans from Russia, the story of Hayes. Germans were the largest immigrant group to settle in Kansas. They came from Germany, Switzerland, and Austria. Other Germans came from Russia. The part of Russia where the Germans lived is Europe. In the night, this should, this says 1970s, it should say 1790s. So over 200 years ago, almost 250. In the 1790s, Empress Catherine the Great invited Germans to settle the plains of Russia. She offered the Germans free land and no taxes. She also gave them religious freedom. Many of the Germans were pacifists and did not believe in war. Empress Catherine excused them from military service. The Germans that immigrated to Russia became known as Germans from Russia. Why did they leave Russia? For 100 years, Germans lived in isolation in Russia, which means they lived all by themselves there. They enjoyed the privileges that Empress Catherine had given them. But things in Russia began to change. The Germans began to lose their privileges. They were unhappy that they now had to participate in military service. The Germans from Russia looked for a new place to live. It's going to ask you the question, why did they leave Russia? And I just read that. They left Russia because they were unhappy that they now had to participate in military service. They began to lose their privileges. Why did they come to Kansas? In 1872, in 1872, the Kansas Pacific and the Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe Railroads started big campaigns to attract Germans from Russia to settle in Kansas. The railroads wanted to sell their lands and services to new immigrants. The railroads printed advertising materials in German. They sent people to Russia to convince the Germans that Kansas offered them opportunities. They offered the immigrants special sleeping cars on the rail their railroads. The railroads provided free wheat seeds to start their farms. The railroads also offered free land for schools and churches. There are lots of reasons that they came to Kansas. Right? Why did they come to Kansas? Well, they were offered special sleeping cars. They were provided free wheat seeds so that they could start their farm. They also offered free land for schools and churches for the Germans to build. So lots of different reasons. <clears throat> the continents. North America, South America, Africa, Europe, and here's Asia. And it's showing you that the part of Asia that the Germans came from is a little bit in Europe, right there where that star is. And then Antarctica down here. Most Germans from Russia were very religious. Some were Catholic, while others were Lutheran or Mennonite. Kansas offered religious freedom. The state also promised pacifists that they did not have to participate in military service. So here are two other reasons that the Germans would want to come to Kansas, right? Um, they were given religious freedom. And then they were also promised that they did not have to participate in military service if they did not want to. Next question. What did they find in Kansas? Germans from Russia settled in central Kansas and the area around Hayes. The plains of Russia are similar to the plains of Kansas. These new immigrants adapted easily to Kansas. The Germans from Russia came to Kansas with experience growing winter red wheat. This is wheat that is planted in the fall and harvested in the early summer. Winter wheat gets moisture from winter snows. Winter red wheat works well on the plains of Kansas. What did they find in Kansas? They found plains that were similar to the plains in Russia. What happened to Hayes? Today, many of the people who live around Hayes are of German heritage. The area calls itself the German capital of Kansas. The community celebrates its heritage with the annual Polka Fest and the German Heritage Days. Each fall, the community celebrates its ethnic past as Deutsch Oktoberfest. So this tells what happened to Hayes. I'm not going to answer that one for you. You should be able to answer it. So you are going to have four questions to answer. For your assignment on Seesaw, your activity, here's one question, here's another question. All four of those that are in bold that are headings, those are the questions and the answers are right underneath. So please use your text to answer your questions.